Hey, welcome to Beyond the Dirt Podcast. Uh, we're here today to talk about a benefit pull for Honko Marty, which Honko Marty has pulled garden tractors and mini rods for several years. And Honko suffered a stroke this winter and uh, needs our help. So we're going to do a benefit. Thank Jeff Peterson here. This is Jeff Peterson, Gage Peterson, and the boss is sitting over here. So, and everybody knows me. So we're going to get to jump right into it. We're going to talk about it. Um, I'll, go do, I'll do the stock classes and you take over from there. How's that sound? Uh, we're going to have a um, garden tractor pull and mini rods V8 at uh, Jeff's location in Liberal, Missouri. And it's going to be on uh, May the 4th. And if something happens, a rain out or something, we're going to try for the next day on May the 5th. And it's going to start at 12 o'clock noon. And on our stock classes, we're only going to have one kid's class. I know our, our normal classes for Midwest, we separate the uh, twins and the, and the uh, singles. But we're going to have one kid's class, 800 pounds, going to be a five mile an hour limit. We're going to have an 850 pound 12 horse stock class. We're going to have a 950 pound 12 horse stock class. We're going to have a 1050 18 horse stock class. And on this pull, all tractors hooking one time. You only got one hook. The entry fee for that on the stock class is going to be $10 a hook. On those, on those four classes? On just them four classes. You know, our, our main thing on all these pulls is we're not trying to eliminate anybody. We're just trying to eliminate a few classes because we're going to pay out quite a bit of money on these classes. Um, you can go over some of the prize money if you want, but I mean, we're just trying to eliminate just for this pull. Just do something a little bit different. Not to, we're not trying to eliminate anybody or make anybody mad by these pulls. I mean, if something just absolutely don't work for you, then we'll try to accommodate. But you know um, it is a benefit it is what it is I mean it's you know we're just trying to have fun with it trying to get some new people some other stuff in here to pull um, you know a lot of other people you know knows Honko and and uh, we've been in touch with Honko you know he's planning on being there um, uh, you know it all of our pulls that we have at our shop every one of them is a benefit and we don't take any money from any of them, you know, and we try to give to them, you know, and Honko is usually the first guy that either text or drive over and ask, you know, what do you guys need? What do you need me to do? You know, and, um, you know, all of us pull together every weekend. So we're going to try to uh, see what we can raise for him. Um, you know, we've got, uh, we're, we're going to put in, uh, you know, several thousand here in prize money. So that's why we've eliminated some of the classes and we're only going to pull in one class yeah. um, per tracker, you know, um, so in, in one class total. So, so uh, I don't know if you want to go over that a little bit, yeah, you know, just to, okay. It's going to, like I said earlier, it's going to be a 800 pound kids class. Don't matter if you got a, a twin or a single uh, kids, just going to pull one time uh, 850 pound uh, 12 horse stock 950 pound 12 horse stock 1050 18 horse stock and that's just one pull in one time the prize money is going to be first is 15 second is going to be 10 and third will be five dollars payback so let's just move on to the next one so the next classes we're going to have is 1050 27 horse stock altered class. We're going to have a 1050 super stocks. We're not going to have 950 super stocks. No, no. Listen, I know a lot of you comment later. We're going to have one class of super stocks, 1050. Then we're going to have 1100 pound open class. The entry fee for them three classes is going to be $25 a hook. The payout's going to be 100. For first, second is going to be 50, and third is going to be 25. Okay, we're going to get into uh, motorcycles. You want to talk about the motorcycles, and then you just tell me about that. <laughs> um, 
on our motorcycles, just kind of depending on how many show up, we were going to try to do just an 1100. We've talked to some of the motorcycle guys. Um, uh, you know, we're going to uh, try to do like a 50 50 payout on them. Um, you know, I'm hoping to get, you know, five to seven hundred dollars for first place on them is what we're hoping for, but you know, we can't do it if only three or four people show up. You know, if we can get, you know, eight to ten of you, then then we should have a good payout. You and know, that's weighing them up to thirteen hundred pounds for yep. one class of motorcycle. Yep. Thirteen hundred on a and, and it's gonna be eleven hundred motorcycle class. So 750s can pull in the same class. You're just, you know, um, like I said, yet again, not trying to eliminate anybody, just trying to, most guys pull, you know, move up anyway in weight. So that's what we're trying to, trying to do. And that's just one hook too. Yep, everybody's Every, one Everybody hook. for the whole day, one hook. You get one hook. And then the four cylinders, basically the same way. Depends on how many shows up on the payout. You know, if there's several of you, the more money you're going to make on first or second or third. You want to tell them about the V8s? We know we got a lot of V8s coming. Yeah, we. I mean, you know, our V8s is uh, there's a lot going on there. We've got uh, we've got guys from out of town that's called. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go for the V8 26 12 12 tires. So that's your small tire, weighing sixteen fifty. Um, we're gonna have a thousand dollars for first place. We're gonna have uh, two hundred for second place, and a hundred for third. So um, that's with a thirty dollar entry fee. Yeah, thirty dollar entry fee. So uh, we should have quite a few of them. Um, you know, so so um, yeah. Uh, our big tire is going to be the same way as the motorcycle and the four cylinders. You know, the more of them we have, the more of them we're going to pay out. You know, we're trying to get these three classes, you know, the four cylinders, the motorcycles, and the big tire, you know. I'd like to see paying out 500, 700 for first place on them, and we'll kind of work our way down. Um, you know, we just, we just need you guys to show up, you know. Um, um, yeah. We know the we know the figures we got left or Jeff you got left here for the prize money. We won't tell them that or not that we're gonna split between three classes. If we have enough, we say we got a little over a thousand dollars so um, on that on that uh, payout for them three classes, depending on the numbers that show. Uh, on the entry fee for the VH is thirty bucks for that day, but you're gonna win a thousand dollars and go from there. But uh, again, it's just going to be one hook for the day. Uh, we're going to break. We'll have a break in between that throughout the pulling. We're going to have a live auction that day. Uh, a lot of plans on that on that auction. Have a lot of uh, messages. I know you've received some. I've received some. Uh, on the live auction, we need items. I mean, we got a few items. People said they're bringing, but we do need items. Uh, you know, we're going to help Honko any way we can. And a, an auction draws people, you know. Everybody likes, you know, to buy something. Uh, we're looking for big items. And I don't know if you want to talk about that. We don't have to mention no names. So some of the stuff we've got. Yeah. Um, we've yeah. had some promises and some stuff going to be there. It's going to be worth being there. Say some some of the people, you know, is trying to figure out what they're going to do. I knew that, uh, that uh, Hogan's. Um, Jeremy Hogan, you know, he's looking at uh, donating maybe a motor or at least a certificate, you know, for so uh, so you can get whatever motor you want, you know, up to a certain price. Um, you know, Berry Hills, they've been they they've got several things to donate. You know, some of theirs is kind of on the prize money too. Um, so um, so yeah, I mean, you know, we've had people call and text us about uh, baked goods. Hey, everybody likes homemade pie or cookies, you know. I think Bill Nance will probably be the auctioneer for the day or somebody like that will be the auctioneer for the day. So um, we're just going to have a live auction just like you go to a public auction. Um, somebody texted me here a while back 
if you're watching, uh, you probably know what I'm talking about, said, hey, can we take and chip in and buy something? Yes, absolutely. The conversation I got in was two or three people wanted to go down and buy a new chainsaw. Hey, we'll take it. You know, it's going to be auctioned off, you know, and all these benefits are going to go towards Honko. So, yeah, yeah. All the money we make is going through Honko. So, um, like I say, big items, and probably that day we'll have somebody in charge of the table that you can take your auction items to to check in. And your name will be mentioned at the auction before we auction that item off, you know. I mean, we'll say who donated it where you'll, you know, get credit for that. You know, some people might not want the credit, but yes, um, you will be uh, mentioned if you donate something. So, another thing uh, Jeff here is looking for is uh, we're looking for food vendors, possibly Gage suggested two vendors, uh, two different kinds of food that day. Uh, contact Jeff or I, I guess. Jeff's number is going to be 620-249-3812. My number is 620-762-2848. So you can contact either one of us and if you're interested in being a food vendor. Um, I've had some other questions about people wanting to volunteer. And I told them, I said, just show up that day. I'm not sure that, um, oh, there's a lady too. I don't want to mention that because she'll be watching us. Uh, she wants to take pictures of that. Oh, yeah. And um, I think she's going to take pictures. And if you want to buy a picture from her, I think she's pretty cheap. I can't remember the actual price now, but, you know, and she said all that was donated. She'd donate that back to, to Honka, the money of the pictures. Yeah. So, so we're just trying to do a little different poll than normal. I mean, usually, and in schools, anybody that's, you know, usually we use our FFA or a senior class in liberal and. So it's, it's going to be a little different pool. I mean, we still are planning on having our normal pool uh, third week of September. Um, but this time we wasn't going to do antiques. We're just going to do, you know, for right now what Honko's done. I mean, you mentioned he's pulled about everything under the sun for for a long time. So, uh, And we were going to talk about that after a bit, too. I, I've been, I mean, I've kind of knew it. The game been around, what, four or five years. And, and uh, Bernie, he could tell you some stories about Honko. Uh, he used to run a radio. On his oh, yeah. tractor radio. <laughs> had a tractor radio, had a cup holder on his main rod. What was in his cup holder? Oh, well, oh, I, I ain't going to <laughs> He had some. Uh, extra, stay hydrated, that's the. Yeah, that's the, stay dehydrated. Yeah. Man. Yeah. So, um, but Gage, you got something to say? I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. so. <laughs> but anyway, we just wanted everybody to know and. And another thing, the last podcast, you know, about our rules. Our rules is going to stay the same as they always have for the year. Um, you know, like this pool is a little different than our normal pools. And, uh, but I'm going to kind of cover this again for you guys out there because I know that you just kind of watch this and it's kind of like you, you just dream up stuff. I, I shouldn't say that, but. I feel like sometimes you just dream up stuff, and, and uh, I didn't say that, you know, so we're going to say it again. We're going to have four classes. It's going to cost you $10 entry for your tractor's going to hook one time. 800-pound kids class. We're going to run the twins. We're going to run the uh, singles in the same class. 850-pound 12-horse stock. Do what? Five mile an hour in the kids class. Five mile an hour. 850 pound 12 horse stock class, 950 pound 12 horse stock class, 1050 stock class, 18 horse limit, no 950. Okay? We're going to pay 15, 10, and 5. Next classes 1050, 27 horse stock class, or stock altered class. 1050 super stock, no 950 super stock, 1050 super stock and 1100 pound open class. $25 entry fee, it's going to pay $150 and $25. Motorcycle class, again, depending on who shows up, 1300 pound, it don't matter if you got 750 cc, 1100 cc, you weighted up to 1300 pound, one motorcycle class. We'll determine the price money on check-in. However many number we got, same with the four cylinders. V8s, Got a V8, 1,650 pounds. 
We're going to pay a thousand, two hundred, and one hundred. Big tired mini rod. Depends on who shows up and prize money from there. So I just wanted to cover that again. Just kind of let them know. Got any questions? Contact Jeff Peterson, 249 3812. That's 620 area code. My number is 620 762 2848. I won't tell you Bernie's number, but uh, let's just kind of talk about Honko and wrap up a little bit. Honko, good guy. Everybody yep. needs to come out and support Honko. Yep. Yep. He, uh, like I said, he's the first one to volunteer, you know, every year, whatever you need him to. Uh, hell, he was wanting to volunteer for this one. I remember <laughs> when you was doing I it. said, you know, I said, well, it's for you, so I don't know that that's right, <laughs> but, you know. He calls, uh, he calls me and Bernie a lot, and I remember I think last year, the year before, he called me up, and one morning, he wanted to know what I was doing, he called me about 6 o'clock in the morning. I ain't even up yet a lot of times, you know, and he says, what are you doing? I said, well, what are you doing? He said, I'm heading to Jeff Peterson to help him cut the plasma cutter or something. Yep, yep. That morning, so yeah, yep. Hawk goes there. He's you. helped make trophies for the Morgans, you know, pull, and like I said, for, for any pull we've had, you know, he's, he's usually one of the first ones to volunteer, and like I said, this one, you know, we kind of, we need some volunteers to help do stuff. Um, you know, I mean, we always take volunteers, but, uh, you know, if, if somebody calls or texts or whatever, you know, if you've got a special skill, I mean, you know, um, um, you know, with a little bit of everything, I mean, food and stuff and, and, uh, you know, we're, like I said, this is just going to be kind of a different pull than we've ever done, but we just try to put our heads together and, and uh, see what we can make up you know so um, yeah hopefully hopefully everybody's happy with it and we have a good track and we don't get rained out and, and uh, you know so but anyway we need them auction items you know make, you know make sure because the money's gonna be made on the on the live auction a lot of the money's gonna be laid on the live. now on this money, I got to thinking about, it, and I've had some, I've had some text over this too. If, because the word got out, we're gonna pay, or you, you're gonna pay big. We want to thank Midwest Bend Builders. Big thank you to Midwest Bend. There's some other Bend. people in there too. Yeah, yeah. there's some other people there. Uh, but uh, on this money, you know, you want to donate some back to Honko, That's great. Yes, that's absolutely wonderful. Yep, your prize money. You know, if you want to keep 50%, donate the other 50% back, you know. I'm just, you know, you know, you all know me, you know. Hey, I'm telling the truth, you know. You don't want to donate back. Because if I be, if I win that $1,000 that day, I'm going to donate it back to Honko. I'll, I'll do the same. So, I'm going to tell him coming after you. No, no, no. no. I, my son said he would donate it plus 100 yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, uh, I want to mention some other things while we're on here. Uh, don't forget May the 18th, uh, Farrow in Oklahoma. Uh, they called us here back in the winter time. Uh, the in, I think it's the Indian tribe. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Cherokee, Cherokee Nations, and they want to keep going like the Seneca pull. They want to have an annual pull every year. Uh, we was first going to have it at the Miami Fairgrounds. Well, that didn't work out, but. Fairland Roundup Club gave them that facility to use and fix up. So the permanent home for the pool for the Indians will be, or the Cherokee tribe will be May 18th. We're going to start at one o'clock. I've had some texts about that. Well, that's a long way. It's only seven and a half miles south of Miami where you're going to the rodeo grounds. Seven and a half miles south of Miami. So don't forget May the 18th, one o'clock, Fairland, Oklahoma. On May the 11th, having an antique pool at uh, Jasper, Missouri, and it's uh, Charles Slick Team Memorial Pool. So mark that down, Antiquers, May the 11th. And also the schedule, been getting a lot of messages about the schedule. We will get the schedule out as soon as we get done here. We're going to talk about that a little bit, and maybe we can get it typed up, and we'll get it out to you. So, Anything else, guys? Pretty well covered it. So, you got anything to say, boss? Mm -hmm. All right, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.